All right, guys, today I'm going to be showing this really cool transportation type card trick. And to start it off, you could have the spectator pick any card by telling you when to stop. So let's say they said stop here. It could be at any spot. And let's say they said stop at the Jack of Hearts. So you guys can see that. What we want to do is put the Jack of Hearts on the table. And then what you want to do is put two more cards directly on top of it. Just so you know, I cannot touch that very bottommost card, the Jack of Hearts. So from here, let's say we mix up the deck a little bit. So we mix up the deck, give a little bit of a shuffle. We can do the same exact thing. This way you guys know the deck is mixed up. And then at this point, I'm going to show you uh, that you can also pick another card. So go ahead and let's say if you were here, you could cut the deck anywhere you liked. And if you cut it here, we would go ahead, we'd mark your cut, and then we'd look at the exact position that you happen to cut the cards at. So from here, it looks like you've cut the card uh, at the eight of clubs. Now this isn't really significant. So what's, what I'm going to do is let's say I give you the eight of clubs. You put this into your hand. How it snap and reveal to you that this is actually your card, the Jack of Hearts. But if your card, the Jack of Hearts, is over here, then these three cards on the side must be the other three jacks. So this is a trick, guys. And if you want to do it, don't forget to stick on for the tutorial. All right. So before I get into the tutorial, I want to show you the box that I have. I know a lot of you guys in the comments are going to be asking me what deck I'm using. So this is the Theory Eleven. Um, I'm not sure, you know, too much of like the specifics of it, but I just know it's Theory Eleven here. If you guys want to check that out. Anyways, here's how you can do it. So, uh, the good part is, is the setup is basically you're putting a four of a kind on the bottom of a de of the deck. So you have, let's say in this case we have the jack or the jacks. These go on the bottom, and then from here, what I did is I told the spectators or you guys that you could pick any card. So I just did a Hindu shuffle, which is really simple. Um, you're just holding the bottom half of the deck. I break around half the deck off, and you're holding the bottom cards just like this with your thumb on the left side and then your middle and ring on the right and essentially you're just grabbing cards off the top so you're just forcing that bottom card so you keep uh, taking off just a few cards at a time maybe one or two cards and the spectator will say stop and you show them the card the bottom card which is always going to be one of the jacks and this is going to set you up perfectly because you can put down uh, the top half over here and now you have the cards just like this and you show them to the spectator and you can move the cards down a little bit more show them again and essentially you're already in the grip uh, because what you're going to do is called a glide and when you flip the deck over it's going to be face down and you're acting like you're taking the bottom card but in reality while this is face down all you're doing is sliding that bottom most card down with your middle finger just like this and then from the bottom your hand is covering up this out jog card you're taking the second card from the bottom so you take this you say look so I'm gonna put your card here and then you kind of pause for a second and say and also put two cards on top of it just so you know I cannot touch that bottom most card and you stick this off the side you get the spectator hold it anyways you're still left with their selected card in the bottom you square this up making sure this goes in the bottom as well so now you're back to this position with the spectators card on the bottom of the deck and now at this point what you do is you say okay you know what I'm gonna go ahead and start shuffling up the cards and all I did there was just move one card to the bottom so it's really simple the spectator isn't really gonna notice anything you say you know what I'm just gonna start shuffling up the cards and all you do is put one card above their selected card and then I did a um, an overhand shuffle where I just made sure to leave the bottom cards on the bottom taking those cards putting it there and then I did a riffle shuffle making sure to leave those two cards dribble down first and that way we're still in the same position with their selected card second from the bottom and then uh, right after that you tell the spectators okay you don't want to go ahead and cut the cards anywhere you like and you can have them cut the cards from your hand they put it down on the table and then you crisscross it forcing essentially the bottom card so now the top half of the deck is going to be on top here and you can say you know what you cut anywhere you like and you just leave it crisscross for just a second you can pick it back up and show them, okay, so you happen to cut at the 10 of diamonds. Now this, and you tell the spectators that this isn't really um, anything too significant right now, but then you do a double lift. You say, you know what, uh, just go ahead and take your card, the new card, the 10 of hearts, or the 10 of diamonds, and you're just doing a double lift, and I'll leave a link for that. So at this point, you take the two cards, you do a face-up double lift, and then what you do is you get a risk here. You say, go ahead and hold on to this. And all you do is come over with your index finger. You make sure you only have one card. You grip that one card and you just move the deck away without moving this card. 
you say go ahead and hold on to that they hold on to it you snap your fingers you flip it over you show it that it is their card and you say well if your cards over here then these three cards on the side must be the other three tracks so this is the trick guys i hope you guys like it um hope this works out for you guys and as always thanks for watching